we continue showing the endpoint content extension app. So we clear all the offenses in QReader. We're going to go to the fully patched Windows system and I'm going to issue a barrage of commands that are related to credential dumpings and then we'll see QReader detecting those. But uh, instead of making multiple videos that were way too short, I'm going to fire all of them in this video. So let's start with the first one. Let's go to the next one. Slight variation of the previous one. This one is querying a specific part of the registry. Let's wait until it finishes. Okay. Continue querying the registry for things that are related. Uh, so let me let me check the syntax of this one. I did not need that. Okay, this one did not yield any result, but the action of executing it, which is uh, strange, you, you should not have users doing these type of things in any system, will be also detected. Let's move on. Let's modify the registry for credential dumping type of things. One more. Let's dump the keychain. Well, let me f see what I did wrong here. Really my bad, I should have done better. That, that, that's actually a Mac command. Because uh, this content package, even though as you see me more focus on Linux, on uh, Windows stuff, it also works for Linux and Mac as well. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of this in the beginning of this series. Let me see if I have some other uh, examples of credential dumpings. Now in order to keep this video short, let's cut it here. But the, the, the content team has done an ex extraordinary job in finding multiple of these techniques and they keep updating this package. And notice all the events that we actually got and the different rules that fire on this process. I'm sure you want to have this package in your system.